As the days went on, I cycled through depression, anger, and finally, acceptance. I was preparing to die and making peace with death, knowing that we live on through what we leave behind. But what was I leaving behind? What would be my legacy? Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. <laughs> How are you? Um, before we start, you can also uh, just stay tuned. There's just a brief announcement about live, okay? About me going live. As there was a petition um, for me to go live. No, it, was re it wasn't a petition, but a lot of people were asking. So then, um, the best way is IG, uh, IG story for now, and then probably we'll do, um, I mean, not live, but I mean, like, I will go live in IG, but right now I'm doing it in IG story, um, because I don't know how much people are really going to watch there. So if you watch me here, um, you can watch me there also. So I did already the first read in IG story, so think of a question there um, before you even uh, watch, so that, you know, so you get the answer. And then at the same time, oh, there you go. Okay. When I do my daily there, um, there's going to be um, like random. I will pick, uh, pick in the comments because people comment on Instagram too, um, where I, you know, you put your question. And then, you know, it's like if I pick random, I answer it also there. Um, I will draw the card for you. Okay. And you just have to just comment and then like there. And then I answer the question. There you go. Okay. So, follow me there. There's something here. Should be somewhere. Okay. So, uh, let's go now for the Libra. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's uh, begin. Okay. Let's see here from a Libra. Let's see here. Let's see. Ace of Diamonds, okay. The Zodiac that you got before, um, Virgo, I think Ace of Clubs. So as I mentioned, Aces are good because, um, wow, that was a zooming kind of energy there. Okay, so Aces are good because it's a chance for you, um, one, to start new, and at the same time, uh, you have mastered uh, a particular situation. You've learned from it, and then now it's about time for you to take action. These are action cards because you have a potential to get to the 10, you know, to get all to, you know, from the whole um, suit of diamonds, basically. Um, you have um, perfected um, something here with the Ace of, uh, Ace of Diamonds. This also shows that um, if it's about um, finances and career, you are in line with the path, for example, let's just say you quit your job. Like, don't quit your job though, okay? But I'm just saying as an example. Um, it was good time for you to do that. Um, starting something where it's like, oh, I'm gonna start a business. It was, it was the perfect time for you to start business. It's an indicative of a specific moment right now. It's an aha moment. It's a go, okay? As I said, like, go, do it. Do not question it, just do it. No, it's not Nike, okay? Just do it. Because it's going to be just beat it, okay, if it's about the relationship. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so same thing applies to the relationship. If you want to spend time with someone, just do it, okay? There you go. So let's see what's going on with your uh, tarot. Okay, so let's see here, tarot. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is Talima, if you are wondering. So, since I use a lot of tarot, there's also there. It says, uh, so you know which one, okay, in the description. If you don't catch me also here in YouTube, you know, in Instagram, in I can do, I do a fast, quick read there. So, this one has editing. It's complicated, just like your relationship. <laughs> All right, here we go. You got the sun card. Let the sun shine in. 
Good news. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about for the Libra. Always. Okay, always. Mm. Look at that. Bright, shining. Natural seventh house is Aries. It's not ruled by the sun, but sun is exalted there, if I'm not mistaken, or sun in Capricorn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, but where sun is comfortable... Okay. Oh yeah, because sun in Libra is not the, is not performing well. It's gonna be giving shine to other people, so it's a challenge for the sun in Libra. But um, sun is exalted in Aries. Yes, it's comfortable there. So this is can be the part the person that you're dealing with. It's not a sun transit right now, but I feel like expect something that they will tell you about. This is about finally reaching to the same page as you are. Like they will text you message you. It's just like I do like you like that. I am happy with you like that. Uh huh. Sometimes it's very loving, of course. This is also agreeing that you guys want to have babies together. Because that's pregnancy. A sign is in Gemini right now. So, um, of course, you can be connected with a Gemini. And it's Mercury rule. Mercury is in Cancer. So communication about a Gemini, about how they're feeling towards you, will come out. Okay. It was a lousy, lousy uh, um, shuffle. Okay. Ten of Swords with a Page of Wands. Okay. Something that you have given up already. It's like the moment that the moment that you give up. That's the time that you know um, things do get better. Remember, the Ten of Swords is waiting for a new horizon, and you waited for things to end. You wanted closure. I feel like you're gonna get it. This is when all hope, well, when all hope is lost, you see that uh, new beginning. Okay, so it's like someone's gonna save you by the end of the day. Like the person's like, oh, the message because a page is here, but the page is a page of ass. Yes, okay, so it's like well, at least I got an ass. <laughs> so because the page of wands here, they do communicate with you. Is right here, they do express their feelings. Is right here. But they can be younger, and their their um, direction wise. Sorry, guys, if it's not focusing, it's just a glare. Oh, it's having a hard time. Yeah. So this person, yes, it's having a hard time focusing on you, and you're just being hopeless also. Because remember the pages, since they are a kid vibration wise, they are often like when they want you, they want you, and then something else comes in, they want something else. You know, easy to lose track, and this is where the part where you have the ten of swords is. A Ten of Swords with a Page of Wands, it is also um, uh, trying to connect with you, but it's almost always, it's just like, I just want to give up on this person, and every time I give up, that's when they follow up. Seven of Cups. A lot of people are getting the confused energy because the sun is in Gemini. A lot of things are in Gemini. The duality of the energy is showing up, okay? Um, not that the Geminis are, you know, you know, bipolar, but the energy right now, especially Rahu is there, then it's getting more confusing. But the Sun and Rahu right now together, and Mars, I believe, is still there in Gemini. Um, the whatever was uh, was confusing, it's about to be, you know, given light. Okay, and they want to approach it where they want to tell us, like, hey, listen, this is what I like, this is what I want. Okay, so they're gonna reach out. Because they're always stuck inside their head, always daydreaming, never serious. Another page. Okay. So, um, that's why there's also a lot of communication, just uh, as messages and messages and, you know, people are just all of a sudden talking. Um, do remember that if it's Mercury and Cancer, a lot of people will be talking about their feelings and emotion. Before Mercury retrograde on July 2nd, this is the best time for people really to address whatever confusing energy before SHIT hits the fan. Um, because this person also with a page of cups, they're gonna try again, okay? But again, it's the wrong thing. The wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. This person never really does anything right, vice versa for a cross watcher. I feel bad for you, Libra. <laughs> Nine of cups. But they're wishing and wanting to be with you. That's the one that's for sure. Nine of Cups with a Page of Cups, they're serious, they want to be with you, they want to give you whatever you have been wishing and praying, okay? 
This person is trying. But I'm not sure why you're giving up though. We will see it extended because you have someone who never gave up but who always screws up. Okay, so link down there in the description box for everything that you need. Thank you very much guys for watching. Make sure you follow me on IG so that if you don't see me here, like for example, because this time you know, this is recorded, that one is of course, it's always the day off, okay? So you will see me there. And if I'm doing readings in the IG uh, story, okay? Bye guys. You can't change how the universe made you. People don't change. People can't change. The same way you can't change your destiny. You will be where you are meant to be and you will become who you are meant to become. But divination cards, crystals, and guided meditation coupled with understanding and acceptance of who you are will help you make your journey happy and fruitful. That's what all this is about, to help people get to where they want to be. A journey that is remarkable. After all, a destiny is where the sweet end lies. There is nothing that follows after that but your journey. That happens every day. In the end, that's what counts. Take, for example, an impatient person. You can never be patient. You can change how you respond to people who are testing your patience. But you cannot be patient by nature. Perfect example would be in an office. There is no getting away from people that whines or complains or criticize just for the sake of criticizing. There will always be gossips and people who can't seem to just mind their own business. This is when we tap to the energy of the universe and the energy of nature. These are things that we have been given. Pyrite is for calming down. Rose quartz to fight aggression. Hematite for the mind. The other thing to consider is that you can't always surround yourself with these crystals when you are working. That's why we make accessories. The energy stays with you all the time. e treat Love accessories are both to make us feel and look beautiful. Crystals and accessories are also cleansed and charged. A rose quartz is the crystal of love. But love may be attached to so many other intentions. When I charge crystals, I amplify it with a specific intention. There are also many places in the US or in the world, for that matter, that has a vortex or forces, but there are very few that have the purest of energy. My home prior to LA was Santa Fe, and it was that energy that made that final push for me to where I am right now and what I do. Tibet and the Philippines also have those energies. Meditation is almost a daily activity for me. While my body rests and recharges, when I sleep, my soul recharges when I meditate. It is when I meditate that I truly see who I am and what is really in my soul. I encourage everyone to do the same. The fact is that nothing in this world can make your life better or can make you better unless you allow yourself to be better. And I am here as your guide, but nothing will work unless you allow it to work. So it starts with you. You may not be able to change your destiny. You may not be able to change who you are, but you can always control your journey.